Welcome back guys. I'm Zach and this is Lighting Up Orchard and this is the last video in the three series of Christmas in July. Um, and this one we're going to do spouse's take on uh, crazy light enthusiasts, I guess. So uh, to get started, um, when we met we had a house in a, in a different town and um, I didn't have music uh, put to the lights but we did have a lot of lights and put a little bit more out each year. Um, so at, at that point, what did you kind of think about um, how much lights we put up? Um, I would say I thought you were a little bit crazy. Uh, I think I remember making a Facebook post when we were engaged. I can't, I, maybe we had been newly married, but we were engaged. And um, I think I had, had like made the, uh, what do you call it? My mind just the Hashtag? Changed. Not the hashtag, but like the caption. Oh, okay. The caption of like Christmas crazy or something, and he's standing out our bedroom door and holding all these cords to all these lights and stuff. Probably maybe we're a little bit crazy, but not as not as crazy as what you are now. And then <laughs> and then fast forward, uh, we have our our oldest child, and we move a, a town over, and um, we use a lot of those same lights, but I somehow. Um, I wasn't even in any groups yet, but uh, I found the Mr. Christmas box. For those of you watching, you know what that is. Um, it's, it's still a pretty good system. It's just kind of, uh, with what you can do now, kind of outdated. Um, there's only like six songs that came preloaded, no words, just um, instrumental. And you had uh, six ports, and um, they would just kind of come on and off, on and off. Really couldn't change much. But um, I remember getting that Mr. Christmas box, and and being like pumped, like now the music or the, the lights will come alive. There's going to be music, um, and we we um, we did that. I'll add a, a small clip in here um, of that, and, and you can see it up here in the corner. But um, we 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 did the Mr. Christmas for I think two uh, two Christmases. Um, <laughs> time uh, our, our oldest was really small loved it thought it was the best thing ever um, and, and there were some people that stopped by um, and there, there was no reason to even have a tune to sign the, the mr. Christmas had a little speaker um, that, that played and you could hear it from the street a little bit but I mean you had to really be uh, focused on on looking at the lights and, and waiting for the sound um, and that's kind of where it all started uh, and then of course jumping into a Facebook group or maybe someone commented and that's when we got into lore and and when I explained what lore was um, there were there were boxes kind of like you know your, your pixel controllers um, I do remember bringing it up that hey I'm gonna get one of these boxes here's how much they are I need a computer program uh, and so what are some uh, pros and cons to actually like diving even when it was just lore uh, diving in and uh, actually being the one to, to sequence and, and program the lights um, and starting that like, I don't know, in the summertime. Um, I can't think of, I mean, that's going to sound kind of cheesy when I say it, but I can't really think of any con, like cons to it. I know it, t it takes you a lot of hours and time and things like that, but for me, I am just there for the support of saying, yeah, that looks great, or maybe you should tweak it here, or I like these lights with this music, and but it doesn't really take away from my life. I keep doing the mom and the wife yeah. things and um, cooking the dinner and taking the kids here and there and all that stuff. So it doesn't really affect me per se. Um, and we've, we've been used to this lifestyle. Yeah. Um, Zach was in law school when we first got married. When we were engaged and first got married and even had our little, uh, had our oldest who's gonna be nine in April. Um, and so I've, I've been used to him taking time to go study law books and to do all of that stuff. So we, we kind of have that. Or spend months on, on Christmas or lights. Or spend months from, on Christmas lights. You know, you know really whatever about. Your, whatever your thing is, I guess. Yeah, really, really about right now on. Um, it's always funny because we, we take a beach vacation in late June, June July. Um, and that's kind of like my, my uh, holiday start. As soon as vacation's over, um, it's now Christmas time here. And so whether that's um, doing some DIY props that are out of the, the screenshot 
we're just kind of starting to think about what we're going to do, um, running, and, and uh, I know I, I made a video last week picking up a, a LED sign that I find. So it really starts about right now um, for, for us, or, or for, especially for myself, um, and then uh, we jump into a little bit of Halloween and then a whole bunch of Christmas. And so um, what would be um, one thing you would say if, if there's someone out there um, that uh, we, we haven't joined the exercise groups a lot, but what, what would you say to someone if um, their their husband or their spouse, some some of them are wives, are seeing this, they're wanting to jump in right away and go straight to a, a crazy animated show, um, and maybe the spouse isn't so into it. What would what would be some advice or, or something you would say? Well, I think that's a good like that's a good definition of us. I love Christmas. I love all things Christmas. Um, I I grew up not having lights at our house. What? My parents didn't. I mean, they. I can think of a handful of times that they actually put up lights on the house, and we're talking the traditional multicolored <laughs> lights. Um, so I didn't grow up doing that, but I still have a love for Christmas and the joy it brings to everybody. And so I would say to just try it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does, then just letting um, people people talk about it and brag on it to us and they love the lights and we go we're very involved in our our church home and um, our community and there's lots of times where the kids will come home from school or from church and they'll be like well so-and-so went and saw our lights and they loved it and they had so much fun and they want to come back and I think it just brings a sense of joy to our to our town and um, who doesn't love a little joy at Christmas yeah. time yeah <laughs> so that kind of uh leads me into the, into the next question. What, um, what's something that you would say you had to, to get used to once we started, um, you know, whether we advertised it or I think last year it was that a, a realtor put us on a list of lights. Uh, what is something that you would say took a little bit of getting used to uh, once we put it out there? There's a crazy show on the street or someone else did. Go see it. Um, so we haven't I mean, we've gotten traffic and like people will stop and they'll say like, oh, we love your lights. I like talking to people. I think it's fun to see like where, where they came from or where they found out about it or something like that. Um, that's kind of my jam. I, I enjoy talking to people. The one thing that had to take a lot of getting used to though was um, all of the cords. There's yeah. a lot of yeah. cords. Yeah. And we have three children. Cord management. And one of them is two. And is very clumsy, yeah. and so when we're leaving for school or coming home from school or whatever we're doing, and we come home, we're always watch out for the cords. Or the guy, the guy wires coming down. Don't, don't trip over the cords. Watch out for this. Um, so that's a little bit of a headache sometimes of having to just remind them that, hey, watch your step, pick up your feet, please. There's cords everywhere. I, that's not a common answer, I don't feel like, but yeah. that's. that's yeah, and uh, I know I've done it behind the scenes, but I'll uh, up in the corner. I'll put up a uh, picture of. of the first couple of years, um, my cord management was uh, pretty rough. There was cords everywhere. I know these last couple of years, I mean, there's always going to be a lot of cords doing this. You just can't have this many um, lights and controllers going without a lot of Cat5 and extensions. But um, I will say my, my uh, cord management has gotten pretty good. They're, they're usually in bundles to the yard, zip tied. Um, I try to run them up against the walls anywhere I can. But it's gotten better. It's gotten better. But yeah, it, um, it still looks crazy. Um, Especially so, in the daytime. Yeah, in the in the daytime, it's it a little does, bit more, uh, does look uh, a little, little bit. Wild. Uh, and, and we have we've we've uh, started with some of these white coral props. Our house is white, so um, if they're on the brick, that we do white. Um, we've we painted a, a few things black that are on the black garage doors. Um, so we are trying to like blend in things during the day. Um, like the one that's on the roof is black because it doesn't stand out as much as something in color or white up there. And so, but. Um, so if you, if you could, you know, I know that I've talked to the kids, but if you could add uh, one thing that you want to add to the show or, or do to the show this year, uh, what would it be? I think you know my answer to this. How let's, many, hear it, let's hear it. How many years have I pushed for a one night, 90s Christmas country yeah. night? I, I love I love 90s country music. I love 90s country Christmas music. So when you did... I know she's probably not Reba. in the 90s, yeah. but Dolly Parton. Or Dolly, yeah, Dolly, Dolly. Dolly Parton last year. I lived for that song. I love it. Yeah. So I've always pushed for it, um, and I haven't gotten it yet, so maybe that'll be my, yeah. my so Christmas there you, wish. Yeah, so there you go. Maybe a, a 90s 
night, a, a 90s Christmas night um, for, for anyone that's local that wants to come by and, and you, you want to hear some 90s, we may do like a, a Tuesday night or something of 90s country. Um, and so, it, you know, in the past we have, uh, you know, kind of... Maybe you could even get like a, a, a cut out of like George Strait. Like oh yeah, yeah, George. and he does have a, it's not, it's not a 90s song, but it says George Strait, you know. <gasps> He does have a country Christmas song out. So. Uh, maybe I should specify it's at 80s and 90s. 80s and 90s That's country good, singers. There you go. So 80s and 90s country Wide singers. Um, but in the past, we, we have had um, some really cool things that we've done. We've we brought Santa to the neighborhood. We've had popcorn and hot chocolate night. Yeah. Um, we've had a, a, a co-worker party before. Um and you there, know what the coolest part about yeah. all of that? Sorry to interrupt you. But the coolest part about all of that is because we teach our we try to teach our kids to serve others um, because at the end of the day, and I think you've said this before on your videos, but like our main reason for celebrating Christmas is because of our savior. Yeah. Um, and so we try to teach our kids to serve others. And so when like Santa came and we did the popcorn and hot chocolate, it was really cool to get, the kids were so excited to do that and to, and to serve others. And so at the end of the day, it's, it's a family, I don't partake in like the lights and the setup and all that stuff because I don't do cold weather very well. Um, but it is cool to see how it's a family. Yeah. Certainly. So um, if there was one of those events that we have done in the past, um, what would be one that you would want to bring back, or even you know maybe do something new that we haven't done? Well, not, Zach will testify to this, but I am I am an ideas person. I like to throw ideas out there, and sometimes they take, sometimes they don't. Um, but I have lots of ideas floating through my head, and um, I would say like, I liked the popcorn and hot chocolate. I thought that was easy um, and something that everybody enjoyed. Um, I I would love our neighborhood doesn't allow golf carts. Yeah. Um, I wish they did, but they don't. So I would love to do like some kind of like bice like kids decorate their bicycles yeah. for Christmas. I. I love a good event. I don't love planning the event or even like executing the event, but I love to like throw ideas out so there. So see, yeah, maybe, so maybe like um, see if we can get like a but I would love like to a do bicycle parade <laughs> like that gets the neighborhood involved. Yeah, we live in a very um, a very uh, what's the word? close neighborhood where a lot of people yeah. look out for each other. I would say safe, but um, yeah. it's we have a lot of kids in our neighborhood, and I think that it's um, I think getting them involved is what really makes it so special. So. Yeah, yeah, and that's, um, you know, uh, I think a lot of people when they uh, do the lights, um, you know, if you aren't into that or um, whatnot, I think some people think it's just, oh, they just love lights. Well, yeah, we do, but, um, you know, I've recorded um, on our, our ring cameras and, and uh, home cameras of people I can hear singing from the street. Like, I truly do love, like, hearing what other people think about it or that they enjoy it. Or that they come back. Um, one of the best days of doing a show is honestly the day that uh, my six-year-old and I are setting it up. Um, we have everything laid out in the driveway. It probably looks like a hot mess in the driveway, but um, yearly we constantly have people that live in the neighborhood that as we're putting it up in November, early November, um, they're telling us, oh it's great, we always know it's Christmas time, if, even if we didn't have a calendar, like this is something that you know as we drive by our kids look forward to. Um, and then every day thereafter, even though we don't have it on just yet, like the, the props are in the yard, like it just, it builds that anticipation and, and clearly um, without even knowing until those neighbors started to stop by, um, I thought I was just excited first of November, um, let alone a lot of the people in the neighborhood. And so. Well, and I think it's bigger than just the lights itself yeah. because it's just like when everyday life, you don't know what somebody you meet at the grocery store, you know, at the park or whatever, you don't know what they're going through at that yeah. moment. And so if it brings a smile to their face and life, and not that necessarily our lights is, are, is what your whole Christmas is based around. No, no, but there's, like, there's a lot of pixel shows across the Met OKC Metro. But so. just in the simple fact of like, if lights bring you joy, then, yeah. you know, we, we love to add to part of that. So. Yeah, and um, like I said, there's a, a few, not few, I'd say between a few and several uh, pixel light shows across OKC Metro, and um, we like we love going to those. And so maybe um, you know I can do a spinoff video of, of other places to go see 
um, if you're watching this and, and you live relatively close or you're going to be visiting the area at that time. Well, I think um, it's one of our kids' favorite things, too, is to load up in the car. We do it every yeah. Christmas, and Zach writes out a list of all the places we know. And some of them are not as extreme as what ours are. Some of them are more. Yeah. Some of them are just lights on houses that we think are pretty. But they love loading up and getting on their Christmas jammies and a cup of hot chocolate and just driving around the neighborhood. And I think that if you ask them, that would be one of their memories for, for Christmas time and something that they look forward to. So. If you even if you don't do lights, I highly encourage to get out and to to see the lights because they really are something special, yeah. uh, especially around Christmas time. Yeah, and so I won't um, I won't ask you what you want to add this year. We've already got that kind of nailed down. We have our box. We have um, the large props that are are high density that we are adding, um, and um, I'll I'll uh, probably do a um, video just over um, our new layout and share my screen and, and kind of walk through that. But um, this season, um, what is whether it's a, a new prop we're adding or maybe an idea that you've had that I don't know about um, <laughs> of something we're going to do, what is something, you know, now that Christmas is, it's Christmas in July, mm -hmm. in this house, Christmas is upon us, um, what is something that this Christmas you're wanting to do, hoping that, that I do, besides the 90s show, but that we're, that we're going to do this upcoming Christmas season? I wasn't prepared for these questions. Zach said he was just going to throw them at me. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I think for me, it's just always fun. It always just goes back to it's always fun to see the kids get excited to do this with you. And I have to brag on Zach for a second because this does take a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy and probably mental with all the... <laughs> numbers and I don't understand all of that but I'm sure it takes a lot of mental energy from you um, but the one thing for sure that Zach is always adamant about is that he gets it done but it doesn't take away from his family time especially with the kids um, he is he coaches baseball and basketball yeah. and is at all the events and so that was that's something that I'm very proud of you about I know this can probably be um, a little bit obsessive for some people but you've never you've never shown that you've always been there for the kids and for myself and um, for all the big and important things and you you've never let this interfere with family time and I think that's the key to all of it is you don't you don't want it to yeah. interrupt your normal everyday life so, yeah except and when there's Christmas and people are lined out your driveway and you can't get to and from your house right right you always you, but feel awkward I won't, I won't let them get out of the car if we, we <laughs> are about to pull up and there's a few cars. Hold on, they're filming the show. Yeah, we no, can't no interrupt. One, yeah, we don't pull in the driveway. No one gets out of the car. Like, Because I do believe like a couple times where we, we had to come in um, right when we pull in um, and kind of some cars, some won't, some cars will pull away. It's like maybe it's awkward for them. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I'm okay if you're here. I'm going to go inside real quick. But to add on to that, um, you know, being, you know, some of, some of you that watch this, you're in X-Lights. Um, you're in this hobby. Um, some of you aren't and so if you are on the um, path of yeah we're gonna do this maybe you're watching this for that reason I would just like to add uh, there are some people that leave the hobby every year um, and a lot of the times it's um, you know just too busy or I'm gonna get started later um, you know we have young children I would say jump in now um, yeah. it is wild we have young children we're going a lot and there are some sometimes when it comes down to crunch time and I'm like ah, like I don't know why we do this it's too much um, we got ball we got other things but like they enjoy it you know and I'll add some still photos maybe a couple of videos but um, my my oldest son and now my my younger son I'm sure this year being two almost three um, he'll love it but my oldest son like lives for this like he will stay out hours each day that we're out there um, putting it up never complaining, yeah. um, holding things, wanting to, has his own ideas. And so um, if, you, if you're on the fence and you're like, well, I probably need to wait till things slow down, like if you can at all make it happen, do it. Um, like I'm, I'm a kid again, really getting to watch him. Uh, Cause you know, we had lights, but nothing like this. And if we did have lights, I'd be the one to throw them outside. You remember, um, you remember your dad used to have that, um, 
Yeah. And yeah. that was projector. I mean, yeah. I don't. There's a name for it. And I can't yeah, think I can't of it, think. But, but it was like a projector yeah. and it shined the shimmery. Like you just on. stuck it in the ground, <laughs> plugged it in, and it would put dots on your but house. I remember the first time we saw yeah. it at their house. I was like, oh, that is so cool. Yeah. It was nothing yeah. compared to all of this. Yeah. But. No. And and like I said, if we had a little bit out in the front landscaped area, it would be me. But yeah. uh, as I went off to college. He did. He found that's about the time they came out. There were the laser things, and he would. I'll, I'll give it to him. Like the house was covered. I mean, there would be three to four, or five of those things staked in the yard, all shooting different things. Yeah. But uh, that's about as far as it went. And so, um, but just to end on that, if you're thinking about it, jump in. Um, there's plenty of help. There's tons of groups. Uh, I know just in the local area I'm in, um, I've I've driven to a couple of the. The Oklahoma light enthusiast house to uh, get extra parts I need at crunch time or to ask for help um, and there's a couple of those people that have their their own YouTube group and I'll and I'll drop them in the description area if you want to follow those guys too uh, but yeah dive in there's plenty of help and so um, if you don't have anything else to throw in I'm gonna end it no, I'm gonna so. end it right there and uh, thanks for watching again that's the last of our three-part Christmas in July series so um, please like the video, drop a comment, subscribe, helps the channel, and uh, stay tuned. There will be weekly videos on Sunday. Thanks for watching. See you guys.